Well, welcome to this morning's session um, titled How Technology Can Help You Connect Better with Customers and Drive Sales on a Global Scale. Uh, my name is Paul Bloor and I'll be running this morning's session. Okay, what we're going to cover first of all is Office 365. Anybody familiar with 365? Anybody using 365? Excellent. Nobody. Good. Okay, as a running a small business, there are a number of challenges that you have to contend with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, Ideas like my ideas and my business, I need to access that data wherever I am, whenever, whenever from anywhere in the world. Okay. Um, <clears throat> not having professional email. Some of you might be using uh, Gmail accounts or something like that. That, that can damage uh, your, your presentation to customers uh, when you're going out trying to get new business. Um, <clears throat> when my technology goes down, having reliable technology is, is crucial. Uh, it's no longer just a, a nice to have tool. It's, it's a business critical uh, aspect now to your business. So it's vital it stays up. And, and also the cost. Uh, spending money on expensive IT can, can be a challenge. There's, there's much better ways to spend your money. Uh, win new business, expanding new markets. So you don't want to tie it up necessarily in IT systems. So you want technology that fits your business. So you want to be more productive anywhere. You want to have a professional appearance so you can uh, create a, a, a perception that you're a much, much bigger organization uh, than the reality by presenting yourself um, in, a, in a professional manner. Um, and uh, IT, you don't want to necessarily be re uh, installing and managing servers, uh, mail servers, uh, storage systems, that sort of thing. Um, as a small business, you probably don't want to be tied up in that. And you also want to get more from your investment. Uh, you've probably got limited uh, amounts of money to spend on IT. You don't want to spend it all of it on expensive hardware. Okay. <clears throat> so Office 365 is, at its core, at its simplest, lowest level, is Microsoft Office. You're probably all familiar with Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, Outlook, that sort of thing. Okay. So uh, at its entry level, it gives you Microsoft Office on your desktop. You can install locally. You can run it in the cloud if you want to, but it's on your desktop. So you can take it away. If you're not connected to the internet, you can still use your applications, access your data. And we're looking at about £7 a month for that. So you get the latest version of Office on your desktop on a range of devices, be it iOS, uh, or Apple, Android, your phone, tablet, whatever. Okay. However, in addition to that, for something like 80p more, you get a whole lot of additional services as well. So business class email, for example. <clears throat> Rather than using your Gmail account, you get a, a proper enterprise level email system with, <clears throat> with 50 gigs of email box storage. Okay. So you don't have to keep deleting emails because your mailbox is full. 50 gigs is probably going to last you a good few years before you have to start clearing out old emails. Okay. And that's for every user. In addition to that, we've got file sharing. Okay. So we've got a terabyte of online storage for you to use. So all your working documents, your presentations, price lists, even your photographs if you want to. You've got a terabyte of storage to do that. Okay. So for most small businesses, that's going to be more than, more than enough to cover, cover your storage requirements. That's completely solid, rock solid, backed up, resilient storage, accessible from anywhere. In addition, there's also SharePoint. So SharePoint is a, a, a database of storage. So it allows you to, to intelligently store your files and link to them in various ways. You can have a website on there, for example, and link to your files uh, in a, like a, a document management type, type environment. Okay. Uh, HD video conferencing. So some of you probably use Skype. Okay. This is Skype on steroids. It's Skype for business. And that's a whole lot of intelligent features in there. So it allows you to communicate with, with customers, um, suppliers, colleagues uh, around the world at any time. Okay. Uh, and it's also um, supported by uh, service level agreements uh, and the, the IT management of that environment is very, very simple. If you want to create a new user, click on the menu, create new user, it's done. This is, this is not an onerous environment to look after or manage. Okay. Okay, why move to the cloud with 365? <clears throat> We've gone through um, the basic components. So to recap on this, it's you get the latest version of Office. It's always up to date. We're on Office 2016 at the moment. Okay. Um, and you get multiple copies to install on all of your devices. So if you went out and bought Microsoft Office yourself, 
is probably going to cost you between one and three hundred pound, depending on which version you're buying. Okay, we're looking at seven pound a month here, and you've always got the latest version. In addition to that, you can install it on five different PCs, five different tablets, and five different uh, mobile devices. Okay, so you actually effectively get 15 copies on 15 devices to use. Okay, <clears throat> it's all in one place. So all of your data, your emails, your storage, the applications are all in one place. Okay, it's not spread out. You can go and use uh, Dropbox or um, WebEx or some of the other devices, but you don't need to. It's all in one place here with, with Microsoft 365. Okay, they all work together because it's all from the same vendor. It's all integrated, so it all works together uh, with no uh, interoperability issues. And there's no service to set up. It's all in the cloud. Okay. <clears throat> and you can control it, it's your data. Okay, so you don't need to worry about losing your data. It's your data, you take control. Nobody can get access to it, it's secure, okay? Okay, the second part, <clears throat> we wanna look at Microsoft Azure. Um, anybody heard of Azure? Yeah, okay, are you using it? Okay, yeah, so you're familiar with it, okay. Um, so as your business grows and develops, you might need to start looking at um, expanding your IT infrastructure. You might need to start looking at putting a server in, maybe a, a database or uh, some other additional items of infrastructure. Azure gives you that capacity in the cloud. So what is Microsoft Azure? It's a global network of data centers. It's, it's owned by Microsoft, but they're spread throughout the world. Okay, currently there are 24 regions. Each region contains up to 16 data center buildings. Each building is roughly the size of American football pitch. They're big, big enough for two, two jumbo jets, okay? So that's up to 600,000 servers in each region. These are all accessible to you to use. There's a massive pool of IT computing resource to utilize in your, in your business, okay? So you don't need to go out and buy expensive hardware yourself. It's all available in, in Azure. Think of it like Lego. It's a whole bunch of different shapes, size, uh, and bricks, Lego bricks, okay? To build the solution that you want. So there's a whole different, different services in, in Azure. So it might be virtual servers, it might be databases, um, task manager, analytics. There's a whole bunch of services there available to you. And you just go and pick the ones that you want. Maybe it might be a server, it might be a database, it might be an Active Directory. And you just build up the environment that you want that's right for you. And again, it's scalable up or down, month by month, to suit your business. So you're not committing large amounts of capital to build your IT system. But then next, next year, next month, it might be too large or it might be small. You might need to expand it or, or shrink it to suit. So basically, you build the model that's right for you, okay? As Mark Twain said, the secret of getting ahead is getting started, and the secret of getting started is breaking your complex, overwhelming tasks into small, manageable tasks and starting on the first one. IT for small business can be an overwhelming task, okay? <clears throat> With 365 and Azure, you can, you can achieve those tasks very quickly and effectively, okay? That sums it up. <laughs> <laughs>